What is up flippers and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Wave by Artsy and uh, Nabalis. So this is a brand new uh, ballad song that just came out. Um, of course everyone knows about the Vulp by Nabalis and uh, Will Hirsch. Um, I'm not sure the timeline on when this one, uh, you know, started, uh, started to happen, but, um, I heard about it after the, uh, the Volp, um, and it was released shortly after, maybe about a month or so after the Volp, and, um, I do not own a Volp, I did, uh, get one from a pass around, so you could check out my channel see my thoughts on the Volp. Um, I'll probably link it down below if you're interested. But um, yeah, the Volp was interesting. Um, the balance was definitely a little weird. Um, I know you, you always hear different things from different people, but um, for me, and I know some other people I heard from also, um, Chaplains on the Volp felt really uh, Kind of like the the glider Antarctic, like it just kind of wanted to fly off your finger just a little bit, uh, unless you really try to control it. But um, yeah, there is a uh, zippy uh, insert mod for the Vulp now, though, so that I haven't tried it out, so that might help it out. But uh, yeah, we're taking a look at the wave here by Artsy, and I gotta tell you, I am really really liking the wave the biggest thing is the balance pretty much any other knife ballast song um, at this price point the balance is just not going to be the best it's not going to be ideal in most cases like sometimes you know you'll find a ballast song around a hundred dollars or less um, and it'll have like a balance that's really good and that you know you may really like um, I feel like overall um, in that price point you're really not going to find really good balances that are going to feel um, feel nice doing uh, you know all your tricks um, but the Nabali's wave here um, actually does. I actually really, oops, I really like the balance of this, and um, and yeah, the fact that it's a unsharpened live blade, basically, you know, it's a it's an unsharpened blade, it just makes it even better because you can train with it get used to the weight, how it feels, how it flips, and then whenever you're ready, you or, you know, someone else, you could pay someone to, uh, to sharpen your blade, and then you have a live blade ballast on for, depending on how much uh, it was to sharpen it, you know, around $100, and, uh, yeah, a live blade ballast on for $100, with uh with good uh with good balance it's kind of hard to come by um good tolerances too out of the box i haven't tuned this or anything i need to lock tight it because it does get a little bit loose but oh there's a little bit of tap. Let me see if I can't. I heard a couple of taps. Let's see if I can't tighten up this hardware just a bit. So I have been flipping it. All right, let's give it a good tap test here. Nope. That is solid. I'll show you the play here in the close position. A little bit of play. little bit of play but for the price point that is absolutely nothing to complain about the sound is also very very nice 
has a good bounce to it. And yeah, everything about this just feels really great. Um, the Volp, I was honestly surprised at how many people like raved about it. Um, like once I got my hands on it, I was like, wow, this is very underwhelming. <laughs> um, I would say grip is probably about on par with the, with the wave here. Um, yeah, the balance on the Volp just felt really weird. I think it was the, the blade that really made the balance so weird. Um, Yeah, the fact that you can sharpen this into a live blade and pretty much be the exact same balance as it is unsharpened right here, that is so, so nice. Um, yeah, I really, really like this ballast song here. It's an amazing option for the price for beginners to start off with a trainer and then make that same exact trainer into a live blade later once they're ready. Um, I think the only, the only complaint I really had was that these cutouts were a little bit too sharp. Um, it's really not a big deal at all. I don't notice it, um, unless I'm sitting here flipping it for, for a while, um, like, I really haven't noticed it in the past, like, 10 minutes or so. I've been flipping it right now. But I think when I first started flipping it, I did notice that the cutouts were a little bit sharp. But um, I want to say that they uh, they definitely know about it. But I'm not sure if they are planning on making a... Uh, on upgrading that, basically. So yeah, I need a Loctite, this hardware, because as you can see, I drop it once, and I got some tap, but you guys saw earlier, I tightened it up, and it felt really solid. Um, yeah, the wave. Um, the jimping, the jimping is pretty good. I would definitely say it's better than, than the Volp also, because the Volp was so aggressive, and it had such deep cutouts right here it actually like took grip away from you um, so yeah the jimping does feel very nice here and yeah that's about it it's about my full uh, overview review for the uh, the Bali's artsy wave here really really awesome battle song Look, I can just chaplain on my thumb for days. <laughs> Chaplains feel really good. They really hug your finger. Um, and yeah, fans, everything else just feels really nice. I definitely highly recommend getting this. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, expert, collector, whatever you are, I definitely, definitely think you should pick one up. And, uh, yeah. It's like $75 for, uh, basically a wide blade. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really impressed. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll, uh, see you all in the next one. Peace.